All right, so this tutorial is just going to be a brief example of how we can start to pull in information in Rhino and uh, set up the background bitmap, which was covered in a previous video, and then uh, toggle that on and off and also start to draw and trace in the content in here. Uh, something we, uh, we want to do this that I didn't go over in the previous um, demonstration here is we can actually adjust the colors in Rhino so that we can ease up. So if we don't want to use the gray in here, if we go under appearance, colors, background, we can set that to white. Hit OK. And that might help us uh, visualize and see some of these guys as we go in here. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the background bitmap. And I'm going to go track down that image that I created in the previous tutorial. It doesn't really matter at what point, at this point, what scale it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and I can just dump that in here. And you can see that the stuff that we did in Photoshop is making this a lot more legible and easier for us to see. And so uh, we're right now we can set this. Uh, oh, I'm going to escape. We can turn this on and off by going through the bitmap, and we can adjust this. We can hide it and show it. Those are going to be the only two things you're going to do. Um, you really don't ever want to remove it, because um, once it's gone, you're not going to be able to place it again uh, in exactly the same place, at exactly the same scale, unless you have some kind of bounding box that you're snapping to. Uh, since we're going to be drawing on this, I'm going to change the color of my uh, tool, something that I'll be able to see, uh, or case state, so purple seems appropriate. Uh, and now we can start to build these drawings. Now, uh, Alan's got some pretty uh, pretty mad skills, I think, in terms of the drawing, and he's got a really uh, good sense of the proportion here, uh, something that's kind of difficult to, to uh, rebuild. Uh, but as we go in here, we, the software is going to give us some opportunities to start to clean this up. Uh, like you talked about, every circle is actually an ellipse when you put it in perspective. So if we take this and ellipse from center, we can calculate the center of our ellipse, the edge, and then expand that out, and we can get a perfect cylinder in there. And I'm going to do this a couple of times because we're going to want to give this a s sort of sketch quality to it. So I can come in here and I can do these guys a couple of times. And I'm going to disable my snaps here because I don't want to add my grid snap. So I want this thing to be pretty free. Find that center, go out to an edge, and expand that out. All right, and you can see that we're getting how quickly we can start to really sketch this thing out. Okay. Now uh, the second command in here um, is that we can start to do, and this is a qu this is just a quick way to start to rough this out. And we can do some of these guys uh, as well. Every time, just so you guys are aware, because I'm going through this kind of quickly, when you're in Rhino, uh, in case this isn't, if you haven't gone through the other things, if you right click, that's equivalent to pressing enter. So I'm right clicking. Uh, if you press enter in here, when the command line is blank, it will try and rerun the last command you executed. So if I right click, it's going to ask me for the center of the ellipse. And I can pr press enter and, and to do that. So. We have a much larger ellipse for our wristwatch here. And if I come over here, you can come over here and copy that. Put the wrist strap there. Right, you can start to see how we can start to build this this content. I'll just drag that over. Right. And so uh, through this method, we can start to trace this. And if I come over here and hide our background bitmap. You can start to see, right now it looks pretty rough, but we're going to get uh, to some of this other stuff here in a second. Um, the next thing we're going to show you is the command you'll probably become very familiar with as you guys go through this exercise. Um, and we're going to go ahead and re-enable our snaps here, turn off end, mid, anything is going to snap to a line, and we're going to use the point and leave that on. If we right click on multiple point, point here, we can draw multiple points. And we can just basically go through and trace our line here. And just I need to turn off the smart tracking. I don't want that either. 
And so then if we go through here and then right click on this line, we can, uh, you can see it says curve through points. So I'll right click on this. Now I can come in here and select those points in order, right click to press enter. And then I see that line up here. And if I right click, I can accept that. So now I've started to draw a curve. So I can draw through these points. And I can basically, instead of taking decades and decades of experience, I can start to distill this down a little bit. More. And the way that you really want to go about this, the, the best technique I found is to start by trying to do this in a, as a single contour drawing as much as you can. Um, you're going to enable you to build up the, the contour and the flow of that um, a little bit more effectively. So right click on that. And again, we're just tracing our drawing here. We're not doing anything overly complicated. Right click, enter, enter, right click, enter, 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 enter. Okay. Oh. So I'll hit enter now. Okay. And so here we can, once we've done this, and I'm, I'm not going to bore you guys with all of the details in here, but we can come in here and we can hide this. And if I type S E L. PT that will select all of the points. And I'm going to, if I hold control, I can deselect the guys in the ends here. I'm just going to type hide to hide that geometry away so I can get a clear picture of this. You can start to see this thing is starting to emerge out of here uh, with this. Let's say we come in here and you know what, this isn't quite right. Uh, and so when we were tracing it, we don't really care for how that, that worked out. If we come over here, uh, right, let's get some edit points so we can start to click and control. And this is going to enable us to massage those curves out. So uh, that looks a lot better uh, as we're going through and tracing this stuff. Okay? And so uh, the next, uh, you're going to continue to do this. This will take you probably, it takes me about 30 minutes to do this. So I imagine if you multiply that across about four, about two hours to go through and do this. Uh, as you go through it, the first thing, that once we get to uh, any kind of point, we want to hit save. Uh, and so we'll save this document to archive. And we'll call this sketch size one. All right, all right. And so the next video I'll I'll show you. We'll I'll have this all done, and then we can go through and actually uh, I'll bring it into Illustrator and show you guys how you can edit that as well. All right. See you next time.